Based off the second movie, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was an arcade game which was ported to many home computers before eventually arriving on the Nintendo Entertainment System. There were two versions, an unlicensed black cartridge by Tengen and an official release by Mindscape, although both versions are the same game. The game begins, Indy walks from one cave to the next, and... What's going on here? What the hell? Oh no, not this again. Oh, it's Select. It's one of those games where Select is Start. Now what's up with Indiana Jones? He looks like a park ranger, and he walks like he just dumped ass. Alright, so basically you're just going around rescuing little kids. See, there's a little kid, you get the little kid, and then you- Oh, they get the sword, and- Oh my god, another sword. Oh, another sword! Oh my god, this little cave here is awfully generous. All through the game, you keep finding swords and guns and stuff, but the big question is, what do you do with them? The start button brings up this screen which shows your supply, but how do you select your weapons? You try every button and nothing works. So what's the point of this screen? Nothing. It's just for shits and giggles. Oh well, we're having fun with our whip in the meantime. But then you find that your whip is pretty useless. You can use it to swing around and kill small insects, but any of the regular bad guys, it only makes them jitter around and grunt. It should be a dance. Whip it! Come on, this is ridiculous. By now you're wondering, where the fuck are my weapons? Well, here's how it works. You hold the select button while pressing right for the sword, left for the gun, up for the bomb, and down for the whip. On top of just being awkward, it's impossible when you're in a tight situation and have to switch real fast. There's no way to pause the game and then switch weapons. You have to do it during the action. If you're on a conveyor belt, there's no way you're gonna mess around unless you wanna fall off and die. That's my biggest gripe with this game. I've never heard of such a back-ass, dim-witted, idiotic, lame-brained way to switch weapons. But at least you only use one controller. There's also a serious problem going on with the jumping. Whenever you jump, you gravitate towards the bottom of the screen. You're constantly fighting against it with the D-pad. At first, I didn't understand what was going on, but now I kind of see what they were trying to do. The cliffs, the platforms, the conveyor belts, everything's descending as you go down, like you're on the side of a mountain. So whenever you jump, naturally you drop. But you're sort of looking at it from a bird's eye perspective. But no, wait. Are these doors actually just rectangular holes in the ground? Is Indiana Jones walking or is he crawling? Or... Huh. I don't know. I don't have a fucking clue. It's like they couldn't decide if they were making a 3D or a 2D platformer. So what you get is like a hybrid. Anyway, the big problem is figuring out where you're supposed to go. Some call it a platformer game, some call it an adventure game. I classify it as a where the fuck do I go kind of game. Yeah, one of those. It's dreadful. All you do is jump around. You go indoors and you jump around some more. You jump around, you jump around. The stages don't really progress much. Everything looks the same. It almost seems like I'm doing laps. But wait. Yeah, how did I get here again? You wanna know why? Because the damn stages cycle over and over again. Let me draw it out. It's like, okay, here's the stage, you know, all the cliffs, the doors, lava pits, all that bullshit. Anyway, for example, if you go all the way down here, you don't hit a wall or any kind of boundary, you just come out up here, but without any indication that you've done so. What kind of bullshit is that? Everything looks the same anyway, so it only makes an already confusing game even more confusing. Who would want to play this? I'd rather drink buffalo shiz. It's a combination of shit and jizz. Yeah, that's foul. I apologize. You know, there's a major paradox going on here. If you keep jumping down, you're basically coming out the top again. Yeah, you follow? It's kind of like a never-ending staircase. Even Einstein would be baffled by how this game breaks the laws of physics. Just the fact that this game was made the way it is, it's a shit stain on the fabric of nature. Another thing I hate is whenever you get hit, usually by a stupid bat or something, you end up going ape shit like Indy's having a seizure or something. It stuns you for a few seconds, but if it happens on a conveyor belt, you're fucked. You're going over the edge. How did I die? Look at this. I jump down, I land on the conveyor belt, and I'm dead. You mean from sticking my toe in the very, very, very edge of this lava pit? Fuck!
Try again. Kiss my ass! I hate this game! It's fucking horrible! Next up, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. 